The following video will demonstrate the steps to add and calculate additional frequencies into an existing coordination in Wireless Workbench 6. We will calculate frequencies for new devices on the network and new offline devices. This video will also demonstrate how to manually enter frequencies and analyze them within the existing frequency list. First, we will demonstrate how to calculate new frequencies. Looking at the inventory list, we have one PSM-1000 transmitter and one AXT-400 receiver online, as well as some offline devices. We have already performed frequency coordination. We will bring two additional AXT-400 receivers onto the network. We do not know if the receiver's current frequencies are compatible with our coordination, so we will calculate frequencies for these new devices. To begin this process, we need to tell the system which channels should get new frequencies and which should remain on their current frequencies. To do this, we open the Channel Management option located in the Frequency Coordination tab. First, we refresh our backup list to make sure we are looking at all of our live backup frequencies. Next, we need to make sure only the channels from the new receivers are selected. The fastest way to do this is to first clear all checkboxes, then select only those that need new frequencies. Note that the channel management window will retain these selections. Before you perform your next frequency coordination, be sure to review the channel management window to make sure the correct channels are selected. Select Calculate Frequencies to coordinate frequencies for the new channels. Note that doing this will also analyze your existing frequency list, but all unselected channels will remain on their existing frequencies. Once a solution has been calculated, select the Deploy to Inventory button to update the receivers with their new frequencies. Note that if you are using a Spectrum Manager to manage devices, make sure the Spectrum Manager is online before you deploy the new frequencies. Now we will add devices with specific frequencies to our existing solution. To do this, you will need to analyze those frequencies to make sure they are compatible with the current coordination. We will add an offline PSM-1000 transmitter. We will now enter the frequencies we want to assign to the new channels. In the Frequency Coordination tab, we will select Analyze Frequencies to evaluate the compatibility of the manually entered frequencies. After analysis is complete, your inventory of devices will be displayed and color-coded to indicate compatibility. Green channels are compatible with the current solution, while red channels are not. If the manually entered frequencies are not compatible, you can enter another frequency or calculate a new compatible frequency. This completes our tutorial on adding channels to an existing frequency coordination using Wireless Workbench 6. We hope you found this guide helpful. Stay tuned for more instructional videos explaining other key features of Wireless Workbench 6.